what's going on everybody and welcome to your fifth HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be learning some more interesting tags in HTML and let's just scale it down a bit so it's visible okay so in this tutorial we'll be learning about some of the important tags like title your bold italics and underline and all that cool stuff so let's see as I told you suppose let's see this is your browser window and you want to give a title now this 5.html matches the file name but doesn't look much fancy when you're creating your own live sites so what you want to do is you want to give a custom title to this browser right here and just like when you type Facebook facebook.com then Facebook appears here instead of facebook.com so how do you do that is with the help of a title tag and since this is an information provided to the browser and not to the user basically and this is used by the browser to show in the uh, its title of the tab so this title tag should be placed inside head so how do we do that let's see title is a tag and I must tell you that in this tutorial in this tutorial series I would be using elements and tags interchangeably many a times so just remember that element is equal to tag in this whole series so let's come back to this tutorial write the word title and title is an element inside the head so this is let's indent it a bit so you can understand the nesting layout and I would like to give this title my first title and anything you would like to place to be placed in the title would be fine uh, let's reload this and as you can see the title changes from 5.html to my first title and we have a bunch of more tags in HTML for you to learn before we get started with CSS and those are suppose you want to bold this text so how do you bold this text is we use the tag B simply B all these tags are inbuilt and would require you to open a tag the content and closing the tag and that's how you build a text which is bolded and let's uh, use another tag which is br now br would come handy with you and because br is a break rule now what does that mean is when you type something in a word document then you press enter for a new line similarly br would act as a enter on your html document so suppose you type hello world and you want to move to the next line and you want to say hi world so now if you reload this page you can see that these two appear on next uh, separate lines so this is how BR works it would switch your browsers line to the next line so let's come back to the B example the bold one and let's see another example which is I now I would italics your text let's see with an example what it would do so that it's clear to you and you tag would underline your text so let's see what it does do and one thing you should note that b tag should be closed i tag should be closed u tag should be closed but we are not closing br tag and the reason i would explain in my tutorial um, opening opening tags versus closing tags so make sure to watch that tutorial it's uh, coming in future <laughs> so let's see what's the result of this in the browser let's reload this page and okay as you can see right here I guess this is visible to you so hello world when we used B then the text become bold and let's just use hello world without any formatting now let's reload and this is without any formatting then B bolds the text I I tag italics the text which is makes it a kind of slant and U tag would underline this text now we have another uh, tag known as 
strike now strike would basically cut off the text well, let's see let's reload this and as you can see this line this middle line appears in on this text and what it denotes is that this text has been cancelled so basically this strike could be used for like offers like not dollar ten but this is dollar five now so that's how companies do like discounts for setting up discounts you could use the strike tag to cut off the price and display a new one so these are some of the many many tags in HTML and I just want to welcome you guys to the HTML and want to like to burden you with all these uh, tags all those of tags in HTML all those unrequired tags and unnecessary tags so just stay tuned with me and I'll help you to go to the best HTML developer to become the best HTML developer uh, not on the planet but at least in your colony <laughs> so I'll see you then and stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe